Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of ratios and rates. This is standard 6.4b in the great state of Texas and we are using problem number 40 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it and then we will look at our answers together. So on the surface this looks like a very simple a deceptively simple problem so anytime we see anything this simple we should probably get a little bit nervous and it's like that as well because it looks like a simple bar graph and each of these they don't even have their bars going to you know in between our our scale here so this is just a, a rock we've got a straight 20 this is a 40 and this is a 30 typically if this were data analysis it would fall somewhere in between the 20 and the 30 or something like that so we don't even have that. Let's see exactly what we're asked to do here. Based on the graph, how many students in a class of, so there is a theoretical class of 360 students, would be expected to choose hip hop or rock? Well, I can tell you what one of our in first incorrect answers is going to be. We see hip hop and rock, and some of us might think, oh, hip hop and rock. Let's see, rock that's 20 and then hip-hop I'll just put HH that's 40 look at that 40 and 20 that makes 60 there's my answer H that is incorrect first off way too easy for a sixth grade math problem that should be your first clue secondly we are asked about what this would look like in a class of 360 students well how many students do we actually have here so let's take a look at that. I've got my 20, I've got my 40, and I've got my 30. So I have a total of, that is 90. So there are 90 total students here in, represented in this particular graph. And so what we want to do is we want to figure out, well, what happens if this particular class grows? from 90 to 360. How can we figure out a way to predict with a ratio how many students will like hip hop and rock? Well, take a look at the relationship between 90 and 360. There's a few different ways we can do this and I'll show you, I'll show you how to do it. So 90 and 360, think of nine and 36. You should be thinking, you know what? I can just multiply that by 4. Guess what? 90 times 4 is 360. So what they want to do is they want to take the actual results of the survey, quadruple it, multiply it by 4, and you're going to get your 360. Well, it kind of makes sense. What if we took our 60? What if we pull that 60 back out of the trash can? And what if we multiply that by 4? I wonder what that would get us. Would that get us something on our answer selection? It would get us F240, but how do we know whether that's correct or not? That just, it makes sense, but let's just double check. Well, this is where we set up our proportions and our ratio. So we're going to say 60, because remember our ratios can be represented as, uh, as fractions, and that's going to be super helpful. So I'm going to put H, H, R, so that's hip hop and rock. So 60 kids liked hip hop and rock out of a total of 90 kids. So I'm going to put total. Whenever we're setting up our proportions here, what we need to always make sure we set up is that the same terms are in the numerator and same terms are in the denominator. So it's very important to keep your numbers straight to always label them. So how many total students are there? Well, we learned in our new fictional class, right? There's 360. So then this is our unknown. How many students would like hip hop or rock? And so we can use our cross multiplication here. And we can say 360 times 60. Let's see if we can figure out what that is. So that's going to be 36, 18, 21. So wow, look at that, 21,600. And this is 90, so 90 times something times that unknown. So what we could do is we can divide 90 into 21,600, and guess what we're going to get? 240, and that is our answer.